This is an exercise in the assembly and disassembly of the various components from the bookshelf to the casket and back again. Here I'm removing the shells. Note that I am tipping that to one side to pull them out. Each shelf is numbered on the back corner sequentially starting at the top with number one. With the shelves out, we'll be able to lower the bookshelf and get to the storage area in the false bottom where we store the carry bars. The feet on the bottom work well for moving this around and keep the edges from being marred up. There's two elastic bands, one on each side, that hold the latch closed. Remove the elastic band and slide the latch over, which disengages the carry bars. There's two pairs, and there's a long carry bar and a short carry bar attached in the middle with threads. Be sure to keep your elastic and the threads together if you plan to put this back together again. All right, they just screw apart like so. Threads come out. There's two long carry bars and two short carry bars. All right, we can tip this back up onto its feet again and spin it around. As it spins fairly easily. All right, there's the locations for the what I call the landing gear, which are the holders for the carry bar. In each section of the landing gear, there is a slot, and the carry bar is just slipped right through. For the last carry bar that goes in the memorial bookshelf for the stern section. Alright, we'll just spin this around. Now we're going to remove the feet. The two top ones are threaded into place into the nuts that are attached on the back side there. These feet on the bottom just pull out. Sometimes it needs a little bit of a twist and a tug because it's a snug fit. We'll replace those two feet with uh, pins, alignment pins. Those are three quarter inch alignment pins. And these are one inch threaded wooden bolts. Now be used to actually hold them together. Alright, we uh, can see the holes in that section and just line them up with the pins and slip it on and use a one inch threaded bolts to lock it in place. Underneath this memorial bookshelf section or the stern section is another set of landing gear. Drop those and slip the last remaining short carry bar into place. Each side of the carry bar gets its own handle. It's a mesquite handle. 
The rope section is Am Steel Blue, which has a braking strength of like 1,500 pounds or something. It has an endless loop splice in there with paracord whipping. These are half-inch wooden bolts holding down the breast hook at the bow and stern. It's also used in the cover. Now the breast hook that I removed is usually used in the bookshelf mode, but when it's used for the ceremony, for the funeral, the viewing, you want the uh, top cover pieces put on. When you use the top cover in the bookshelf mode you can hang it from the ceiling, and attach it to the wall, you can turn it into another kind of bookshelf. Um, there's a variety of things you can use with this top cover as a decorative piece and so you want those two triangle breast hook pieces to go with it. And when in bookshelf mode, the, while those are being used, there's just a hole there. And that's why the second set of breast hooks are used. There's 28 total half-inch wooden bolts. Oh, there's three in the breast hook in one end and three in the other, and your remainder go in the rest. This cover can either be used or not used, depending on um, how you want to do things. You can put flowers with the cover not put on. You can put the flowers one not on the inside in pictures and pictures. And such or you can just leave put the top cover on and do the same thing Alright, now we're going to take the top cover off and removing the half inch wooden bolts. There are 28 of them total, three each in the breast hook, and then the remainder in the other two parts of the top cover. I've included two spares just in case. The covers are pretty light and pretty easy to move. These are the pallbearer handles that I'm now removing. They're made of mesquite, amp steel blue, with paracord for whipping.
move the one carry handle. And push up the retractable landing gear, which holds the carry bars. These are the one inch bolts. They just screw right out. The nuts are attached on the inside. Once the two bolts are undone, it can just slide apart. There it is. That's uh, the stern section or the memorial bookshelf section. What's left now are the two alignment pins. And we're going to put in the feet. Basically two pins with uh, two uh, the nuts attached to make the feet. And the two top ones get threaded on. Note they are different than the uh, assembly bolts. They're similar, just a bit shorter. The feet keep it from uh, the edges from getting marred and you can move the bookshelf around fairly easily in this mode. Alright, and there's the uh, retractable landing gear. And we're pulling the carry bars out. They flip right up and out of the way. Notice the ease that this moves around with. Even though they are just quarter inch strips, the whole structure is very strong. Replacing the top cover breast hooks with the bookshelf breast hooks. Takes three of the half inch bolts. All right, laid down again, we can take the carry handles and reassemble them and put them back in their storage place. They are color coded. In this case, one is red and one is green. You take the little threaded connector, thread it on one end, and screw them together. There's a short one and a long one for one side and that slips in with the uh, little slot facing the outside but before you slip it all the ways in you want to grab your little elastic strap loop and slip it in there and then push it in this way you can pull it back out again when you need to there's a little uh, slot that it fits into and it hooks onto the uh, little slide catch handle on the other side. Do the same thing for the next set. Slides right in, grab your little elastic loop, push it all the ways in, 
Now, for some reason, the little elastic loop uh, gets lost or something. You just tip the unit up a little bit, and it will slide out. This just makes it a little easier to pull out. All right, the pallbearer handles, carry handles, are now um, back in its storage spot, and we picked up into the bookshelf mode. Now we're going to move it around on the dolly a little bit. The dolly has a an extra base put on there. It's just duct taped on just so the feet have something to uh, sit on. Most dollies have pretty short lip on there and that just helps it hold it a little better. And you can see with wheels this moves around very easily. You can go through doorways, upstairs, and you can do it all by yourself. You can even use it at, like a typical canoe portage and just carry it on your back. You see the wheels make it a lot easier. And here I'm removing the bow section. It just has one one inch bolt and two alignment pins, two short alignment pins. This can also be used as an urn. just put the top cover here so I can use it basically as a table because I'm grabbing the stern section which is the memorial bookshelf mode and this is the last shelf this is shelf number seven again it's located on the back of the shelf in the corner. This is the top cover breast hooks. We're going to remove that and put on the bookshelf breast hook. Using the same three bolts. And that whole piece is fairly light as well and moves around quite easily. Right, we're going to reattach the bow section by first placing the two alignment pins in the bottom, grabbing just a single one inch bolt, slip it together, screw the one inch bolt into place. Again, the captive nut is uh, attached on the other side. put the three one inch or uh, half inch bolts back in place. They're all very similar. You can use any of the half inch bolts in any position. Uh, 
notice how easily I can just pick it up, move it around. Alright, starting at the top, this is shelf number one. And moves down sequentially. One through six. We saw seven being inserted into the memorial bookshelf. Notice how I tip it at an angle and it drops right in. And there it's, I'm pointing to the location where the numbers are. Now it'd be shelf number six. Now it's in the bookshelf mode. Now each of the holes for the top cover are uh, empty at the moment, so we're just going to put all the half inch bolts in place. Said there's two spares and those can be stored in either the uh, behind the breast hook and either the main bookshelf mode here or in the memorial bookshelf. When they're stored here it's less likely to have them um, to be lost. You can also notice if one's missing pretty easily. I use three sizes of uh, wooden threaded bolts here there's the half inch size you saw the one inch size and the size you won't see is parts used in the um, main structure for the landing gear and stuff like that it uses a three quarter inch threaded bolts and in some places used for the landing gear mostly Yeah, I hope that uh, helps shed the light on how this gets put together and taken apart.